thank you for the support from the previous video. Without you all, this channel would not grow. And also, because of you guys, that I have been approached by Anticon that promised and have sent me the samples of the sutures for my lectures. And today, I'm going to show you the types of sutures and needles. So today, we are going to show you the packaging of the suture itself. If you take a look at the packaging, there are so many colors. There are so many descriptions over the sutures, right? Okay, so let me take a look. I'm and I'm going to show you the purple sutures. All right. So if you look carefully at the sutures, there are always about more than 10 details that you can achieve from the insert of the sutures. The sutures inside and it's supposed to be sterile because this is a sample that been given to me. It is not sterile anymore and it couldn't be used anymore. All right. Anyway, it's an expired suture. So if you look at this, the first thing you look at is the name of the suture and mind you this is actually a trade name of the suture and this is not the generic name whenever we look at the suture you 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 can say the trade name but there are a lot of companies the best is actually i would advise you guys to use the generic name which is a very fine word here there polyclastin 910 suture all right and you look at this this is a absorbable synthetic suture we are not going to go there because the further lectures we are going to tell you what are the types of sutures right so if you look at this carefully suture doesn't really come with suture alone it always comes with a needle and also the thread itself which is the suture all right and you take a look at this there is actually a company name and the product code is this important? Mm, maybe not, but if you are in a hospital admin, you might need this. And also, the product code is actually have a QR code and also a barcode. But what stands out here is actually you look at this. This is the needle, right? Remember, suture doesn't come with suture only. We come with suture and needle. This is what we call the arm suture, alright? So if you look at this, this is the needle code. And if you zoom in properly, you can see 48 mm and also one half C pepper. What does it mean? We are going to dwell a little bit uh, on the needle lectures later on, but it can tell you this is actually the needle length is 48 millimeter and this is one half circle and also it's actually a pepper tip. And this icon there, it tells you it's a round body. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the suture. At the suture, you look at what are the size. Suture size, usually you use USP code, which is a USP size. And also there's a metric gauge. This company is very good because they give you the two sizes. This is USP code, which is size one. And also this is a four metric gauge right and 36 inches or equivalent to 90 cm this is the length of the suture if you take a look at this i think you can see that no two means this is a single use only suture all right and if you look at this it's always because it's a suture there's always a biohazard level there and it's the round eo is ethylene oxide Sterilized by ethylene oxide. You can use gamma ray. Right. You are going to open like this. Right. You can go into open like this. But before you open, one last detail you must take a look is the expiry date. And because this is a sample sent to me, and of course this is already expired two, two years ago. <laughs> right. 2020 December 31st. Right. And this is the batch number. If there is any problem, with the suture, we can always trace each and every suture on the batch number. Alright, okay. So, how do we open? Of course, you must wear glove. 
all right because this one is in my studio so i don't i don't really wear a glove and it's not in operating theater anymore and this is a, only a sample and what we do is we open like this to maintain sterility once you open up and then you can see it's the same thing as my first lecture right you can see this is actually like this and there is a tear it asks you to tear like this all right okay so when you tear because this is already expired it's a bit stiff and you can see the needle is already there right as always do not use your finger i have a faucet here and use a faucet instead all right and remember don't pull the needle but pull the suture all right so you can see this is actually an arm suture and i didn't lie to you this is exactly the same dimension all right so this that's all about the packaging of the suture thank you all right since you guys have come this far our team has decided to have a nice summary of this more than 10 details what you can find in the suture packaging so firstly you will see the trade name the trade name is always the biggest font in the suture packaging then remember generic name generic name is the most important but don't always go for trade name always go for the generic name and the third one is the product code product code might not seem relevant to you but later on in your in your career the product code is very important and especially when you are in the administration so there is also a needle code and comes to it will be a, the needle descriptions and of course the needle dimensions and remember the different dimension is in real time and you have a suture size you also have the suture length next you will have a, this all these important labels a single use label remember a suture is always to be used once and do not be sterilized and because there is also a needle involved this is a biohazard material then next you will have a sterilization method in this case the sterilization method is ethylene oxide and the most important details is the expiry date so remember do not use the expired suture for your patients and last but not the least the batch number batch number is important if there's any problem to the suture you still can trace back so these are the more than 10 exciting details of the suture packaging so now you guys can pause the moment this particular video so that you guys can have a bird's eye view of the details of the suture packaging there's a caveat not every company will provide the exact details hope you guys have learned something this week and please help us to like subscribe and hit the notification button because your support will help us to grow the channel so see you guys next week thank you